Hello everyone, welcome to my July video. It's Georgia from Ramblings of Geo. This month's theme is 6x6 paper pads. So, as you can see, I've got a stack of my pads there on the right. I decided to be a bit different this month and do a 12x12 layout instead of a smash book. Just felt like doing something a little bit different. Um, what you can see I'm doing here is that I did put some tabs on a few of the pages that I knew I wanted to use. So, I went through and pulled them out just to back my photo on. What I'm using for my 6x6 paper pads is actually the branding strips at the top. So apart from a couple of sheets that I use to back the photo on, the majority of paper that I use is all branding strips. So I then go through, as you can see, and I peel them off. Um, it's quite a few because I've got, I think I had three or four pads out. Um, the pink paisley fancy free one which I'm flipping through now I've used a lot of pages out of this book so I had quite a few branding strips left um, well available for me to use so I ripped out tons of them tried to stick to ones that I thought would go but most of the colours did go there was a couple of like dark navy blue ones which I didn't pull out I used the box of crayons 6x6 pad as well because I really wanted to use the strawberry branding strip and the floral one so I spent a little bit of time trying to work out what um, coloured layers I wanted so I sort of layered them all up just to have a look and eliminate the ones that I didn't want in there um, and ended up just going for quite a simple sort of chevron kind of pattern um, stuck that on and you can see the top of my uh, my Disney pyjama top there I had actually cut the photo down a bit because I was contemplating whether making it a 4x4 photo but by doing that I would have cut out quite a lot of the detail in the picture which is the Disney castle so I ended up just trimming it down so it's a little bit less than 6x4 So I then set about trying to work out the best way to stick them on the back. So I went with double sided tape, um, I had to mend that particular branding strip because I actually ripped it whilst trying to get it off the pad. Um, so I've got quite a variety of colours and I wanted to make sure I didn't have two the same next to each other so I went through and as you can see did a bit of a dummy run. and then first one I thought because that one was ripped I tried to sort of stick it down with a foam pad to kind of keep it s like to stick the bit that had ripped and then I just went with double sided tape because that was the better option and then I just kind of staggered it all the way down and every now and then I had to stick it down with washi tape because they started to move a bit and they weren't as straight <clears throat> it took quite a while to do this but it's actually really easy because you haven't got to do any cutting it's just a case of just sticking it down and making sure it's all level and I think what I liked about it is you're using up your scraps like normally well I don't know about anyone else but I wouldn't normally use the branding strips from 6x6 six six pads. I would use them for my, from the 12x12 12 12 papers um, but it's not something I've ever done before so I thought give it a go and the fancy free pad that I've got is really thin now where I've pulled out all of the um, branding strips. It's got only about 10 pages left in it now so it's well on its way to being finished. I'm very conscious about the amount of waste from scrapbooking like everything comes in plastic packaging and um, we tend to if we use double sided tape it's got plastic backing to it so that gets thrown away so I like to just try and use up everything I can um, I put on a box of crayons paper clip there with a white glittery heart and then I'm just going through some stickers and things like that to try and work out where I can add my 
focus points to the layout. So I'd already made one by putting the paper clip up there. And then I used the Hustle and Heart Amy Tan stickers to put the globe on the bottom corner. I think as well I'm going to use I believe they're also the Amy Tan stickers. The sticker that you can see me fiddling around with there I ended up not using because it didn't go. I thought it would, but the background of it sort of clashes too much with the paper. Yeah, so I went with So Happy. Tried to use the heart, wasn't happening. I used the little arrows at the top just to bring a bit more silver in. And then I knew I needed something in the bottom right corner, so I thought I'd use some more branding strips. Because I had a few left over. Me and my tape runner have a love-hate relationship. Um, on this layout, it was more hate than love. Uh, but I did make it work. I've cut out lots of bits where I was fighting with it, and um, we weren't having the best, best of times. But I've put a new tape runner in it now, and we're, we're friends again. So yeah, here I am just trimming off the excess, just to make a nice neat edge. I love the back of that paper as well. So I put a little heart there off of the Hustle and Heart stickers, um, and I was desperate to use the aeroplane, so I finally managed to use that, and I believe it says Adventure Awaits on the little tab. So I stuck some more stickers on. They're like the thicker stickers off um, Pink Paisley, no not Pink Paisley, Paige Taylor Evans. I can't remember what collection it is though, so I'm just not good at remembering things like that. Um, I also decided to stamp the date on the bottom because it's for once I actually remembered the date because it was our wedding anniversary last year. So I stamped that down at the bottom, added a little bit of um, detail to the edges because I just thought it looked a bit sort of empty. So I thought a black border would bring it all together a bit and it really it did help to kind of finish the layout off. Um, I added some journaling on. It was just basically explaining what the day was and where we were for our wedding anniversary. So we went to Disneyland Paris last year for our wedding anniversary and it was great fun. We actually went twice last year because we went for New Year 2017. So that was great. Um, what am I doing now? Oh yes, now I'm adding some sequins. I never used to use sequins, but after the retreat that I've just recently been on, we use quite a lot on all of our different layouts, and I'm a convert now. I do actually quite like them. But I think the main issue I had was sticking them down. I just didn't have faith that they would ever stay on a page. But now I'm using glossy accents, they, they do not budge. Um, so I would definitely recommend glossy accents to anybody that wants to use sequins, or basically to have anything stick down on a page. Um, I then went in with some little pearl, like enamel dot pearls, if that's what they're even called. Um, just scattered them about a little bit. I actually wish I'd had more sequins in um, silver, but I didn't. So here I'm showing you a close-up of the layout. So we're now going into the images. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching my video on the UK Scrap Addicts channel. Please do check out the links below and don't forget to subscribe and also share your own layouts on the Facebook page so we can see what you create. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.